Hey guys, um, I just want to show you guys a cheap and easy, um, I guess, problem fix, I guess, if you happen to get a wrong set of dies. Um, what happened with me was, is I ordered a set of dies off eBay. Um, they were used, or RCBS, but uh, it clearly states on them, wad cutter. Um, three die set, 357 mag, wad cutter. Uh, this is part number 18207 from RCBS. This is an older set of dies. But uh, when I ordered it, I did not realize that that series of dies did not include a crimp die. Um, it had the classic cedar, um, but there was no way to put a roll crimp or taper crimp or anything like that on there. Um, now, this will probably only work if you cast your own bullets, but uh, I cast the Lee semi wad cutter tumble lubes. They drop right at 360 to 361 in diameter, and uh, which is about what most of my barrels slug out at. Um, some, if you use pure lead, they'll drop at about 362, which is still perfectly fine if it's soft lead. So what you do um, to put a crimp on these, or a, it's not really a crimp, it's more sort of like a taper crimp. Um, you probably couldn't call it an actual taper crimp, but this still works. Let me go ahead and get these other three seated, and uh, I'll show you guys. Um, and as you can see, there's no, hope you guys can see that anyway, there's no crimp whatsoever on that bullet. So, we're going to improvise here. And, which I mean, if you're shooting really light loads, um, you're fine not to put a crimp on there. I know a lot of people say, oh, you have to crimp them at least a little bit. Um, if you're shooting light loads like I do, I've never experienced any sort of bullet jump whatsoever. Um, so what you do is you take out your seating die. And what I use, I've got a Lee carbide sizing die with the decapper pin removed. Um, it doesn't have to be carbine, it really helps, especially if you're doing this. And uh, what you do is you start it. I actually go just about five turns, put your shell in there, and you only want the sizing to engage the shell maybe about that much, maybe a little bit more, but no further than that or else you'll expand the top of the case back by sizing it again. And you just run your bullet up in there. You can feel when it's engaging. And what that does is you can't really see it that well on camera, but it actually puts a slight like a taper crimp almost in there since you're running an oversized bullet at 360 and then you're sizing this whole diameter back down to 358 or 359 um, so it's sort of like putting a taper crimp on there and uh, you just go and fill the bullet make contact there and you go that far up in and it just I said it's really hard to see on camera but it just puts just a slight taper crimp on there and this will help you get by. Um, I shot unique like this. I shot trail boss. Um, I don't advise shooting um, if you shoot pirate X or black powder for cowboy competitions. I don't advise doing that with black powder just because it won't have enough uh, bullet won't be held in there good enough to fully ignite the powder. It'll work, but you'll get a lot of unburned powder. Um, same thing with unique. Um, but if you use a uh, light load with a magnum primer then you don't really have any issues with that but uh, that's just a cheap and simple way to get by if you don't have a crimp die and you really need to reload some stuff like I said most of your cast bullets you actually order will be sized dead on 358 um, unless you order them otherwise like I said these are actually they size I believe about 360 somewhere around there I'm not sure if you guys can see the see this or not but uh yeah 362 is what they're sizing out at and then what you're doing is you're sizing them back down to 358 or close to it so it just gonna just gives it just enough to uh hug the inside of the case and uh get a little bit better performance out of it if you don't have a crimp tie but uh one die set that i really recommend 
is the Lee carbide. Um, I got this set here for $32.50, my local gun shop. And uh, they're really nice because you don't have to lube the bullet. And the roll crimper is built into the cedar in this. And which, I mean, you really need a roll crimp on a 38 Special just so you get proper powder at night. The proper, proper, ugh, excuse me, the powder properly at nights. And uh, you get more consistent velocities and, and stuff like that. Um, with a roll crimp, I believe you guys can see that on this big 200 grainer. But I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick tip. Like I said, this I'm not sure how many dies are like that. I've got an old, an older Lee die that looks just like this, but it doesn't crimp either. I'm not sure why they made them where they didn't crimp. Um, like I said, the, the set that I ordered was the RCBS uh, 18207. It actually says wad cutter on here. I believe these were made for the uh, Colt and the Smith pistols, the uh, 1911 style pistols that shot 38 wad cutter only. Um, so I believe that's why they didn't crimp. But uh, lesson learned, always make sure you have a crimp die in your set. And if not, that's a quick and easy way to get by if you cast your own bullets or if you shoot oversized bullets to get by without a crimp die. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, thanks.